In this video, I'm going to go over field types that are lists. So you can turn any field type, a text, a date, a number into a list. And a field type or a column that is a list is exactly how it sounds. Instead of saving one type of food or one date, you can save multiple dates in that column in that field on that record. And you may ask, why don't you just save it as text and put multiple things, right? I could save schnitzel, meatloaf, mashed potatoes, these three foods as just one free flowing text. It's because when you display it to a user, you may want to switch out the comma for a different symbol, or you may want to get rid of it altogether. You may want to put it in different columns stacked one on top of each other to make it look nice. And a list gives you that flexibility when you're building your actual app. So let's go over some examples on how lists are created from field types or a column can be turned from a single into a list, right? Arrival time just needs one time, but favorite foods is multiple foods. So let's jump in to our first example here. So I'm a master private chef and i'm going to people's houses three different people throughout the day and this is my first time going to their houses and i built a little app that can ask them what their favorite food is what their favorite foods are so i know what to make or what to prepare but i want a list of items so i have some diversity in what i can choose and i want it in their own words too so they can write whatever they want so over here i created this App. First, I created a spreadsheet, and then eventually we can move it into an app, and we'll go over that in a moment. But taking it from a spreadsheet form over here, what I want at the end of the day is to figure out, A, the name of who I'm going to, their favorite foods, a list of foods, and my arrival time when I'm going to their house, so I'm prepared. So let's see how we translate this from an Excel sheet to an actual bubble database. So let's create a new table in Bubble or a tab, which is what would be in Excel. And what we're going to call it is restaurant recommendations or private chef recommendations. Okay. And we're going to append on the bottom here three so we know we're in our third video. Create that private chef recommendations cut off here. Let's do Rex to make it shorter. And let's go to our first field and add it in. And so the first field is the name. We've done this if you've seen my other videos. And let's add name. And this is just text. It's just one name. Don't get confused between first and last name. That is usually formatted in one field like you usually show both names and that would not be a list and then you just create the name and it's text and this is not a list so in a minute we'll go over the list so name is not a list but favorite foods the second column let's add that is a list so favorite foods because we want them to add multiple foods so i as their private chef know exactly what to give them and their favorite foods are just text, right? It's not a number or a date. It's like they want to write it out. And we're going to make this a list. So multiple foods can fit in this single column or field, as I would say, in bubble. Okay, cool. Here you can see we have name as a text and favorite foods is a list of texts. Okay, let's go back and add in arrival time. And this is going to be a date, right? Any sort of time that is could be a month or a date. A date saves it as literally in milliseconds. So you can display it to the user at any granularity level you want. But that's beside the point. All right, arrival time is a date. Cool. Now we have this table. Let's now create a record in this table. So if we go to app data and we click on the private chef Rex, we can see that the table is empty. There are no records or rows that we would say in Excel and records we would say in Bubble. But we have all the columns that we made, favorite foods, arrival time name, and the default column that Bubble creates. 
All right, let's add a record. Arrival time, I'm going to leave that empty because I don't want to fill out this whole thing. But if I were, I'd have to fill it out in this exact format. But let's add favorite foods and let's add meatloaf. That's one of the favorite foods on the list. And then, I don't know, I get uh, watching how that's spelled. I apologize. And pasta. Cool. Now we have a list of favorite foods in the same record. And this is for John Carr or whoever that is. And when we click create, we can see that we have over here the favorite foods as a list. They'll be displayed as separated by a comma, but in your app, you'll be able to display them however you want, which is the beauty of a list. All right, let's do another example. All right, example two, I'm hosting a party and I want an app where people can put in their name. If they're coming, I can send them an invite and how many additional guests they're bringing. And I just want the additional guest names. So I know, okay, I don't like Jill. Why is she coming? Or here you can see there's a duplicate. Jill is coming for both the additional guests. So that's an example where you may want just a list of names of the additional guests that Sadie can put in. And it's tied to the Sadie record. And it's a field or column on Sadie's record where we're going to save her plus ones. So let's bring this into bubble. Let's, as you would expect, let's add a new table. Go back to data types and a new table and let's make this three so we know we're on the third video that i'm creating and let's call this plus ones sometimes i put an underscore but it's just preference for me all right plus ones now let's add in these fields or columns so first name number of additional guests so let's add in the name this a thousand times this is a text right it's going to be john number of additional guests and this is going to be a number okay it's a number here that's just a number and then we want the actual additional guests names so let's do additional Best names. They're a bit long names. You may come up with shorter names. Maybe you'll call it like IDDT guests or something like that. Like you don't want such long names. Like that would be a short, shortened version. And then it's going to just be names and text, Jack, Jill, John, whatever. And we're going to make it a list. Cool. And then we have a list of text. Let's go and Create a sample record here, plus ones. So to the party on the app, they're gonna you're gonna be able to display the user to populate these records. But right now we're just gonna do it manually from the back end. And what we can do is just add in guests, right? Um, on okay, so let's say Sarah is bringing Michael and Jill to the party and the number of additional guests is two, right? Just Jack and Jill, no, oh, Michael and Jill, <laughs> Jack and Jill. And that's how we create a record, right? We're basically populating a row in what would be equivalent of just writing in a row in Excel. We're adding it in the bubble database. Cool. And if we create that, we can see that Sarah has two additional guests and has two additional guests and their names are Michael and Jill. Awesome. So hopefully you understand now what list field lists are. It's a column that has a list of things within that column within each record. There's a list and the list we try to keep under a hundred. So if there's something that someone is inviting a hundred guests, you probably don't want to have that as a list in a column, but we'll go over that later. So if it's under hundred, a small list, it's good to put a field type as a list. All right, let's go to example three. And I'm going to pause here right after I just explain it. Um, so you can try it. On. Okay. So example three is I have a group of boys that I hang out with and I want to track all the nights that they've been drunk, right? So I got James and Jack, maybe it's a small group and I created an app where I just want to save 
the crazy nights, the dates for the nights where they got drunk. So maybe I can go back to the Snapchat memories or photos from that night. I don't know. Crazy idea, but basically I'm saving a list drunk nights for each of my boys. So pause here and try to create this table in bubble in a bubble app. And in a minute, I will create it with you. Okay. So hopefully you've created it by now. So let's, let's go through this. So this is not a list of texts like the other tables we looked at, and we should change this name to chef Rex. This is going to be a list of dates. So let's do 10, 12, 22, and I don't know, maybe they're drunk a lot. So 10, 40, no, not 40. That doesn't make sense. Uh, 24, 22, and maybe they like took a month off. So 11, 12, 22. As there's drunk nights, and they may have a bit of a longer list. I don't know. Maybe we're only tracking blackout drunk nights. I don't know. Something like that. Not encouraging drinking here, to be clear. And then for Jack, maybe he only got drunk on uh, 1, 12, 23. He didn't drink last year very much. And 1, 23. And the list can go on and on. So we have here a list of dates. So let's create this in bubble so let's create a table we're we'll append three because we're on the third video that i created and let's call this drunk nights drunk. it's cool all right so we created this and over here let's add a field or a column to this table right we just created a table for drunk nights and so the first column we're adding, or the first field in bubble terms we're adding is name. And that's going to be text. And then we're adding drunk nights. Also the name, we should call it drunk dates to be specific. And we're going to make it a date. Okay, so it's a list of dates, not a list of text. And when we click create, that is our table, right? We have the two columns that we have here and we have the table, which is drunk nights. Now we can go to app data, click on drunk nights and create a record. And we can add multiple dates. So let's add 10, 12, 2022, hour 12, 30. I don't know. That's one date. And then you can continue to add dates in there. Um, and let's say John or Jack Jackson, yeah, different person and we're adding in all their drunk nights. And we can see that record here. If we had other dates, it would be separated by a comma. So hopefully this was clear and thank you for watching.